memorable moments of the set of that word. Oh my god. Tell her it sounds like a blur now. It's like gigantic. I can tell you why. Okay, you tell me. Uh, I like when you flip the table. Was that season two? I was pregnant, yeah. Yeah, when you flip the table. Uh, that line just cracked me up. And I like <laughs> the party scene in season five. The hardest thing about the table flip was like making sure no glass or nothing like landed on my actual belly, so right, that right. there was no damage done. Again, it was to navigate the yeah. table. Yeah, you can't injure the star. Um, <laughs> <laughs> <I'm a poor laughs> child. Um, and then that party scene in season five with the, the "I want you back" thing. Remember that? Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Before yeah. I Where you were drunk. I Where you got drunk. Yeah. 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 I thought that was, was pretty funny. Good. Yeah. And jeez. Uh, um, I, well, it's just kind of popping in my head when uh, they introduced the Poppy character and Alice sleeps with her one night and then Helena sleeps with her the next night and Alice I sees know. Helena go into the limo and she goes, hey, Poppy, really Poppy, yeah. And I thought that was just <laughs> funny. So, anyway. Um, okay, I'm doing this probably really fast. Uh, well, first and foremost, because I think I might have talked about it before, is uh, we really lucky to get this great director, uh, John and um, I was about two weeks away from my due date, and I'm not sure what I'm still working, but how was. <laughs> and uh, we shot a scene with the late Ozzy Davis, which was such a gift to be part of. And um, I have had all these brass and hex, which if you don't know, they're the contractions that come up before you're about to start your work. Where are they brass and hex. But they start, sometimes they can start a month before, so, but wow. they were reaching a level of the intensity that I did not recognize. <laughs> and in the middle of the take, I just, I, my voice dropped out, I couldn't speak, and I just, at that moment, just John Carnett's son, he just looked at me as like, you know, I'm going to make it through this. And I was like, I get through this scene. And um, he said, no, I'm going to, I'm going to, he had something with me for the next day, and I'm going to shoot you out tonight. shot the scene where I was um, basically on the bed, uh, basically nude but very well draped and covered. And um, uh, my daughter's feet were moving and passing through my skin so that you could actually see like her really? footprint. And he was so excited about those moments. And um, we shot it. It was kind of late, like maybe 9 o'clock. It was like a 16-hour day. It was really long. And, uh, Jennifer's really lovely. She'd gotten me a chiropractor to come and like you know, adjust me. I'm on water broke the next morning. Wow. Yeah, and so to have that moment recorded and on screen. I don't remember that. Okay. Well, there was some editing, and there's always a director's cut, and then there's always okay. another cut. Right. So I don't know exactly what's in there, but I know what I saw in the editing room. Okay. So I showed it to me. I mean, I think I miss. I mean, I miss everybody. I miss the girls. I miss mm -hmm. like having the. the Caliber of the directors that we had, and I feel like they all have tried to make cool movies. Cool. Favorite place to shoot? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. God. Um. Wow. I don't. I mean, I love Africa, but I really love Italy too, and yeah. I really love London. So it, it'd be one of those three. You know, it's, it's really hard to, it depends what time of year you go, it depends who right. you're with. Um, but if I had to go somewhere tonight, we, okay, it's really in right Europe. Um, actually, I'd probably like to go back to Kenya tonight. I haven't been in a long time, right. so I, that's what I'd that. go. I'd like to go back to the Mar Masai Mara and just hang out. Tricky for me because uh, you talk a lot too. So, so much about so many factors that go into it. Yeah, so exactly. many factors. Um, I think uh, 
some pretty magical moments in Costa Rica. Okay. Place in that room in the old villa. Um, okay. No, no, I thought it had maybe Barcelona. Barcelona is great. Mm, love, that love, love it. So. Yeah, love Barcelona. Yeah. God, I'm a little overdue for that too. Years. <laughs> um, there. What about domestically? Is there any place? Yeah, well, I'm always the person that would like love to get, like, I must have driven my car across the country so many times, and I love just that, like, long road trip. Right, thing. right. Getting lost. Yeah. I'm a big fan of that. Getting lost? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, this time of year, I, you know, I don't want to be anywhere else in this country other than New York. I mean, I think it's just the greatest time of year to be yeah. there. And, um, you know, I love Northern California. I love Seattle. I love Chicago in the summer. Um, oh, there's some great places in Canada, too. I love Toronto. Like, yeah. I love, 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 love Toronto. Just so, um, wonderful places like Salt Spring Island, um, Tokino. Okay. I think we're, we're good. Yeah, I think we're, yeah. Okay, I so we just need to close this. We just need to close this then. Oh my god, this is like a babble fest. <laughs> it's fun. Okay, this is what you're good okay. at, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. like, oh my god. I don't think I can be really sound by Oh, let me talk. That's what. Oh, shut up. Oh. Okay, wait, let's close it up. Okay. Let's just, um, and I just want to say thank you to everybody. Yeah, me too. Our, and thank you. Thanks uh, for involving me. I, being my friend and all that good stuff. And um, we're going to do our best to make this uh, really, you know, turn out for, uh, yeah. I don't want to say that. We're going to do our best to really make this um, successful for such a worthy cause. Yeah. Yeah.